Every year, more than 11 million people visit the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. But beneath the trails, we love to hike, and hundreds of cemeteries are sitting there, known and unknown. The National Park says one cemetery is the final resting place for slaves. 10 News reporter Yvonne Thomas takes us to Mingus Mill inside the Enlow Slave Cemetery. If you ask somebody, a mountain person, they'll say, closer to heaven. Up a hill in Bryson City, North Carolina. But it's sort of hidden in plain sight. Off the trails of Mingus Mill. A lot of people come to the mill and don't have any idea that this is here. Lies a small cemetery beneath the trees. We don't know who's buried here. With unsung stories behind the stones. We do know that they were slaves. This area is recognized by the Park Service as the Enlow Slave Graveyard, named after its white settlers who lived in this area. They could be possibly 200 years old. But the headstones are unmarked. There's about five graves here. No name, birth date or death date. This is also a very short grave, may have been a child. At least five bodies are buried beneath, with no record of the lives they lived or who they were. Researchers Frank March, Don Cassida, and Ken Wise have dedicated years as volunteers studying parts of the Smokies and looking for answers. We don't really have a way to tell that uh, without some sort of uh, written historical record. Records that the Great Smoky Mountains Collections Preservation Center keeps in Townsend, Tennessee. We traveled for nearly an hour looking for extra information and landed here inside of this archive room that houses more than one million National Park archives. What we did find are three different folders for the Mingus and the Enloe family. But when it comes to the Enloe Slave Cemetery, there's just a few sentences. It lists six grave sites with the last burial in about 1860. Uh, Smoky Mountain folks didn't didn't tend to write a whole lot, They'd leave uh, formal records. The land where the slaves are buried belonged to the Enlow, Mingus, and Floyd families. The Enlows and Minguses were amongst the earliest settlers. According to census records and Haywood County Deeds of North Carolina, Patriarch Abraham Enlow was a slave owner. Abraham Enlow, had, as far as I've been able to find, the first recorded deed where was where Abraham Enlow sold s slaves. To a man named John Hyde. That was in 1815. Listed in the deed, Enlow identifies the slaves as 32 year old Dave, his wife, 30 year old Sylvia, and their two children, a two year old Negro girl, and a six month old boy named Adam. Enlow sold all four for $1,200. And an 1830 census shows Enlow owned five slaves, but there's no mention of who they were. And there is no evidence that proves any of these slaves died or were ever buried here in these unmarked mounted graves. Now, these are historical records. You know, there are artifacts here. Because the bodies buried beneath were treated as property, not people. Well, you're right. There's probably more out there to be found. There could be more just like them, carrying the stories of their lives to the grave. Stories that we may never know. And at WBIR.com, you can see a full photo gallery of the graves. Thanks so much for watching.